Hello my beautiful Aries, welcome to this reading. My name is Mia and welcome, welcome to this channel. Right, we are going to do weekly reading for 29th of May straight to 4th of July. What a week we're going to have indeed because we have a full moon in Sagittarius at the very end of the week, in not September, in Sunday. And have you noticed actually different full moons bring different energies? Now this one for example is bringing um, focus on adventure, uh, dreaming big, looking forward to make plans, long-term plans and spent being spontaneous. So look, I'm going to do some reading and see what the card is giving me. It could be the business. This is general reading, but sometimes I get pulled into one particular kind of um, area. So we want to see what kind of big dreams or spontaneity or adventure it is that you after but if this doesn't resonate that's absolutely fine and pop in your moon and rising or this is if this is your sun sign so check those messages over there right and by the way thanks so much for being here i really appreciate it and if this feels like your place press the subscribe button and like and comment right aries 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 what you need to talk about four of wands king of swords And the full. Mm -hmm. Wow, four wands is talking about regard no rewards. Interesting. I have this feeling that you want to, as being an emperor, a silk card, you want to level yourself up. It feels like you've been called to really bring your ambitions to the next level. And take that next step. Maybe you are like, you know what? I want to have a better job, better place. I'm going to apply myself and I'm going to put myself out there and I'm going to go for it. We'll see what happens, right? And I like that. And I really support you there because this is kind of, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. I'm going to stick to my words. I'm going to go for it. And there is nothing and no one's going to hold me back. Very ambitious very very ambitious um and perhaps maybe you have been i don't know not that not, not, as, again as i said not everyone but some of you may have been in circumstances where you had to maybe provide or you felt like this is not the right time for me to start something new or change a job or applying myself and maybe you have been raising children at home or whatever that is but it feels like no this is the right time i feel like this is a good time for me to step up because the King of Swords is stepping up, being that leader and taking charge of my life. What keep it once they marriage or commitment? Wow, interesting. They have despair, okay. What else we have? House. Okay. Some of you, as I said, perhaps have been spending a lot of time around the house and family and contributing to that. And there's nothing wrong with that. But maybe you feel that it's time for you to move out. Not out, but meaning be more outside. Being go into society spend time somewhere else not just in kind of cushion kind of little place it feels like something you want to do for yourself okay even though you do for your family if you do have family and family as i said could mean different things but it is you want a different commitment you want a stronger commitment to yourself you want to start something new right wow <laughs> this card was definitely coming out anchor tree okay interesting and this card was jumping out as well. Unlocking your potential. Unlocking your hidden talents. That is for sure. And we have an anchor. There's some security. Um, it feels like you want to feeling more secure, feeling more stable. And well, we have lots of threes. Three, three, threes. So it feels like it's a good time because threes means um, the guides, your spirit guides and universe is next to you and supporting you. Basically, once you make that decision, you know, you got, they got your back, you know, you got, you, you got their back. So how is this happening? Okay, tunnel is ending. That means you're coming out of darkness, not just mental, perhaps maybe some of you are, but it's kind of like there's a new beginning starting. You're coming out of, from the house, right? Spending time, maybe you have been very insular. And it doesn't have to be like mentally depressed, anything like that. But it could be is that that's that. Where can you see it? That um, you have not been visible. And basically you want us to show the world. Hello, 
my name is Aries. I actually exist and I can do a great and fantastic things, right? Let's have a look at what the angels would like you to say at this point here. I advise from angels and then we're going to dive into tarot. Here we go. Is of wisdom and the fruits. You know how to make money. You know how to apply yourself and make things happen and materialize. Use that wisdom. It's a good timing and go for it. Okay. Angels are watching over you. Right. What Tara would like to add. So what kind of actions you need to take here? Let's have a look. What kind of actions you need to take? Let's chat. Let's chat. Let's see what I want to say. Actions. Go for it. Look at this. I love this. Knight of Swords is absolutely... It's like determined. This is it. This is my right time. This is my thing that I want to do. Doesn't matter how big or small or what anyone else thinks about it. I want to do this. Because otherwise I'm going around the bend here, okay? It, this is how it feels. I, I just need to get out of the house. I, and the house doesn't have to be just um, the same or same. Or you have big dreams here as well. But it feels like you've been in the same kind of BAU. Business as usual. You want to get out of that race where you have been feeling um, there's no movement, you know? You want to be recognized. You want to be seen. You want to be heard, Okay. Um, that's for sure. Yeah. And as I said, you do have the seven of cups, which is a bucket list. It's just, there's a lot of opportunities for you out there. A lot of opportunities for out there. You kind of, at the moment, perhaps you are thinking, okay, which way shall I go? Which way shall I go? I'm okay. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. And this is kind of a card of not seeing exactly which way to go because the eyes are closed. But what you can do is, Go with your gut feeling. Do your research. Because Three of Pentacles is a card of research as well. Kind of really, maybe going talking to professionals, talking to people, um, or researching online. If you don't want to speak to people about your new plans, that's absolutely fine. Um, it's just really put yourself out there and go and speak to people. Or even strangers or in companies or just seeing, look. I'm interested in doing this and that and other and would you spare a couple of minutes or is there anything you could advise me to? Okay, this card is jumping out. Wow, Knight of Cups. Opportunities and uh, great proposals going to come your way. Look what we have. We have three of cups. Great communication. And we have the Nine of Pentacles. And it just follows by Wheel of Fortune. Okay, Wheel of the Year. You're going to find the ways... Through some networking. And as I said, the networking doesn't have to be um, being out there with people, actual people. If you think, why well, I hate people. Okay, that's absolutely fine. But what you can is internet or library. Finding the knowledge, the knowledge that agents are saying, use that knowledge in your advantage. Okay, because the Wheel of Fortune is saying there is a niche there for you guys there where you can jump in. This is the right time. Get in there first, okay? Just get in there first and learn from the mistakes, whatever that is. Learn from mistakes and learn as well how to overcome obstacles through Queen of Cups uh, kind of energy that is saying, I'm here to nurture my emotional state and I will get through this no problem. Right, what is your inner guidance? Your subconscious mind is saying to you. Subconscious mind. Blessed sides. I have to say here is that you you have something special here. You are special. You have some sort of talent or some sort of idea that you haven't even discovered. And as I said with the Wheel of Fortune, the, um, the second major kind that we have in reading, it's bringing some sort of lucky situation where you are in the right time right place speaking to the right people or being just be being ready to act and you have a very good um foresight you see things well ahead um you spot things you spot things that are good for you right let's have a look what is hidden from you what is hidden from you you are good enough and i'm feeling and it's time to take action guys Perhaps maybe you have been sitting on a bench for a long time, I meaning on a bench and not being visible, maybe taking care of family or taking care of your responsibilities. And finally, you're like, you know what? I do matter. 
I do want to make my name for myself. And this is very, very important message that your subconscious mind is saying. This is something hidden. You are not discovering yourself because trust me, Aries, you are good enough. And that's probably could be the even only thing that you needed from this reading. But yeah, what a beautiful, uh, what a beautiful energy is there. I'm really looking forward to hear from you what it is that you are up to, what kind of inspirations you have and big dreams you have as well. Alrighty, that's all I have for you. Have a blessed week. I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon and I'll see you in the next reading. Ta-da!